Welcome to our simulation. Um, we are learning about refugees and migrants coming to the United States. Um, we have six different real life identities. Each identity has a reason to us why they're coming to the United States. We have Carlos, who is a climate is coming because of climate change. We have Dora Linda, who is fleeing because sexual violence. We have the Bashir family, who's fleeing war in Syria. We have Maria, who is a DACA recipient and part of Dream Act. We have Paulo, who is a graduate and engineer from MIT, and John Yao, who is a wealthy business owner. Step across the stones, uh -huh. and then the three of us are gangsters. Okay. So we would take mostly everything that was important to you that you had, okay. and then send you on your way without okay. anything. What you just experienced was a robbery, which happens to a lot of people coming to America. There's coyotes that say things such as, we'll help you get in for free, we'll help you get through the border, and they rob you. And your fate will be determined by RJ and Brian at the spinner. All right, so we're going to spin the wheel. Whatever color it lands on determines how much of a chance you have of making it to the United States. You go here to Amber to tell you more about your journey. Okay, so you got your visa, which means you come into the United States legally. And this is a great way for you coming to the United States. This means you can start a business. You can live your life here in the United States, just how it should be for everybody. Why are you here? He's here. He's bringing his business to the United States. That's what he's doing. Bro, all his kind does is steal our jobs. No, no, no. See, what you don't understand is that when he brings his business here, he's going to create more jobs for the United States citizens that are already here. So basically you're saying all he does is going to steal our money because that, that's what's going to happen, I'm telling you. No, no. He's going to create more revenue for the United States economy by bringing his business to the United States. Just send him back to his country already. Well, you've just experienced how difficult it is to get into the United States. And as you've seen, it's not just like men just seeking work as most people think when they think immigrant. It's like people, families seeking refuge from war, it's women, it's children, it's in certain scenarios even rape victims just trying to seek refuge here in the United States. And it's not easy and many of these people are just turned back at the border without second thought. For that poster, if you have learned something after this stimulation, and you can sign your name on this poster. At the end of the simulation, people were able to write to their senators about keeping the DREAM Act. Afterwards, people were able to leave their handprint to symbolize their support. 